Hi, today I will be reviewing this anti-gravity pen that I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Everything at that store is a dollar. It's pretty great. So, to start off, let's look at its design. This anti-gravity pen, it's matte black with a little bit of shine, so I guess it's not really matted. And, I mean, it's sleek, it's sexy. I don't really think inanimate objects are sexy, but as for pens... This is up there for, like, the best-looking pens. It's durable, I think. It was only a dollar. It's got a little metal clippy thingy, as you can see. It has these grooves, these indents. It's relatively heavy for pens. By, I've held, like, probably 12 different pens in my life, and this would have to be the heaviest, I'm sure. Um, to get the pen part out, you have to rotate it. It's not a click pen. That's, that's one of my bigger complaints. My other big complaint is, as you will see further on in the video, or right now, if I remember to edit this correctly, when you drop it, it doesn't, it's not anti-gravity. It just falls straight to the ground. So that would have to be my biggest complaint. So for the anti-gravity aspect of this pen, I would have to give it a, I don't know, 6 out of 10. Probably has some anti-gravity in it, but... Not enough for it to be, like, ha hold its title of anti-gravity pen. Now, I know what you're thinking. If I'm in a one-on-one -on -one situation and I have to defend myself, can this pen do the job? Well, to answer that, maybe. It just depends on who you're going up against. If you're going up against, for say, this cardboard box, you're in luck. This will do the job. Maybe an infant or a baby? Yeah, you can probably do some damage with it. But if you're going against anyone with any kind of dexterity, no, no, you won't do very well. But as you see, when you compare this pen to this knife, like, it's much sharper and better than the knife. So if you have the choice between this anti-gravity pen or a knife, you choose the pen. Now, I know the next thing you're thinking. How big is this pen? Well, here is the pen against a whale in... It's, like, it's huge. It's fucking gigantic. It is bigger, way bigger than the whale. And it's heavier than the whale. And as you can see here, it is stronger than the whale. You can just take out the whale really easy. So if you ever go whale hunting or whale watching and you want to surprise the person who's in charge of whale hunting, you bring this pin and you attack the whale and you will win and you will have flubber. So... How old is this pen? When was it made? Well, this anti-gravity pen has been around since the, like, Jurassic Mesozoic ages, when there was different rocks and more volcanoes, probably, I imagine, and there were dinosaurs, as you can see in this picture. And the other amazing thing about this pen is it can climb trees, like, really well. I walked away for a second to fix the camera, and next thing I know... It's in a tree, so that's pretty incredible. So I definitely recommend that. Now here we're doing another test with the pen versus gravity, and once again the pen loses. I don't think it quite it I don't think it quite lost as bad, but nevertheless it didn't float up in the ceiling. It didn't just hang a mix, hang a mixed. That's not a word. Hang a muck. It didn't just float in midair like you would want your anti-gravity pen to do. So, like, maybe it took a while getting down there, so it resists gravity a little bit, but it's not full 180 degrees opposite of gravity. So, once again, gonna give it a... Let's bump it up a notch from 6 to 7 out of 10 on that aspect. And now I know what you're thinking. Can you draw snails with this pen? Well, to answer that, yeah, but... For the pin aspect of this anti-gravity pin, so the second part of it, the least important part of this pin, you can draw, but not very well. I have drawn two snails now and scribbled once trying to get this pin to work, and I would have to say it's really mediocre. Four out of ten, maybe three out of nine, two out of three, I don't know, it's not very good. Leave it at that. There are other pens, like this generic pen I'm writing a snail with. This one was a dollar, but there were ten of them that came with it. And they're not anti-gravity. They suck in gravity. But that's fine. That's how it works. So, in conclusion, if you want to buy an anti-gravity pen, this is a great beginner's anti-gravity pen. It doesn't quite defy gravity how you would hope, but if you're just practicing or getting used to the idea of defying gravity, this is the pen for you. It'll warm you up to that concept. So 
for the gravity, anti-gravity part of this, I would say overall six and a half, six point five, or like six and one half out of ten. So there's that. For the writing aspect of the part of the pen, of the aspect, you would want to choose a different pen. This is fine if you want to get in a bar fight with someone or stab a box or something. This is fine for that. So stabbing boxes or people. I would say that's its strongest aspect. So 9 out of 10 for that attribute. Now writing, which I don't know how much writing you would want to do with this, especially because you're just buying it for the anti-gravity part to write into space. Knowing that the writing gets a 3 out of 10, but that's not really that vital to the usage of this pen. So writing 3 out of 10, stabbing people 9 out of 10, um, climbing trees. This is the best climbing tree pen I think that is in existence. So I'm going to go... Solid 9 out of 10 again. So, as for size-wise, although it's as big as a whale, if not way bigger, it it's really light. Like, like I earlier I said it was heavy, but come to think about it, if it's bigger than a pen than a whale, but weighs less than that whale, it's probably not all too heavy. So anyone who can, like, if you can bench press around 200 pounds, you should be able to lift this up no problem. If you can bench press 300 pounds. With the anti-gravity part of this pen, if you lift it up and you have enough momentum, it might just take you out of orbit into space. And that's honestly what you're looking for in a pen. So overall, anti-gravity pen, I would say 7 out of 10 is like getting good quality for the dollar that you spent. I would recommend going to the nearest Dollar Tree and buying this. Um, this has been Snail to Pro uh, fuck. This has been Snail Productions Episode 1. Have a good day.